I drew as much as any other kid. In high school is where I really was trying to find where my place was in art. There was this piece by Surratt that inspired me to do pointillism. It was fantastic. You could do little tiny dots and make a photographic picture. The process is definitely intense. The pens that I used were 0.005 millimeter tip, basically like a human hair, and I could get these freakishly tiny little dots. You're just so engrossed in doing the same thing. Hours and hours and hours would just disappear. Days would disappear. A single picture could take two, three months. <laughs> that was really where it all began. The hand started to shake, so I would hold the pen tighter. Then my hand would start to shake more until I couldn't do it for hours, and then it became six hours a day, and then two hours, and ended up 10 to 15 minutes a day. It was excruciatingly painful. My hand felt like it was slowly detaching from itself. One day, I shoved everything away and said that was it. I left art completely. I was depressed. My ability to even do art was gone. What I sacrificed was myself. Why it took me three years to finally go to a doctor was I just wanted to walk away. I just wanted to be done. Because at that point, it was so frustrating. I remember arriving and being nervous. The neurologist did different things. He squeezed my arm. He had me doing different hand motions to see where it would shake or wouldn't shake. All that led to a very simple but kind of hard diagnosis of permanent nerve damage. There it was. Pointillism is what damaged my nerves. And he's like, just embrace the shake. I'm like, oh, of course, you tell everybody that because it's, it's easy. But then it's one of these things that kind of worms its way in. You're like, well, maybe, maybe, maybe I can't embrace it. What I found with being an artist is you can still make art. You have to maybe work in different ways. I started to work on the wall. I could actually use my arm more for drawing. On a larger surface, my hand wouldn't cause me as many issues. And just let my hand shake and then really accenting it. All of a sudden, everything opens up. Like, wait, there's possibilities. I've used text to make pictures, matches that I've set on fire, peanut butter jelly on bread, hamburger grease, pine cones, x-rays. I can express, can get feelings out each time I'm creating. I'm creating a new way. The creation process can be exciting. If the art is gone and the only thing I have for it is the video, the video is meta art. Gotta get people to see it. Our limitations can force us to be creative. The entire thing is out of one line. If you're able to just step back and see these boundaries need to be broken, your life can be completely different in an instant.